Wow. Look at that, even the picture. And if they've now left the grass like this, it's more likely we will have some snakes in here. Definitely. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Solar or No Solar. So I'm continuing with this journey of going electric and this time around I've been researching solar panels and generating my own electricity. It's a minefield out there and it's a very very difficult decision to make. You are putting a lot of money in it and you need to see some results. So I've been looking at different companies and different options. I've been given quotes and here they are. So to start with I've got the contact solar um, quote on my screen here. As you can see they are quoting for 10 panels uh, sun sink 5 kilowatt inverter and all the necessary bits and there's also a 10.64 kilowatt battery there. There's also four optimizers so because where I want the solar panels to go there's a bit of shade here and there different depending on what time it is so there's a bit of a shade and they put some uh, optimizers there so the total cut is 10,800. So the second cut that I looked at, um, I'll skip the octopus cut at the minute, I will go to box T. So box T could not look at the house but we spoke about my cut and this is what they were looking at giving me. So the cut was for six Jam 5.4 S31s panels, six of them on the garage a three kilowatt uh, inverter and they also were giving me a Tesla 13.5 Powerwall 2 so their generation was estimated at 2.52 kilowatts a year to 2520 kilowatts a year so that the total there was 11,099 pounds that was the quote for the box T. They also quoted me, I spoke to box T before, and they'd also quoted me for the power wall on its own, on its own, the power wall on its own for about 6995, all installed only for the power wall. So again, that's another option that I was looking at. I want the solar panels, I'll show you the other quote that shows, right, this is the heatable quote that I have as well. This is where I want the panels to go, half of my garage, I share the garage with the neighbor and this is how I want them laid out. I'm not too sure, having looked at the roof again, I'm not too sure I can get six, but I can think definitely we can get away with five. So five of them there and the battery. There is a consumer unit in this garage because my office is at the back there as you can see there's decking. The, my office is at the back there so um, there's a consumer unit there's electricity in this garage and as you can see from the picture why I'm not putting them on the house. There's a bit of shade there that stays on because the sun comes from this side going that way so the sun the shade stays on for a long time so the panels that are here are not going to get any sunshine whatsoever and this is the northwest side of the of the roof so it's pointless putting anything there it's not pointless because the sun during the summer I can get a bit of the sun during the day this side because the sun is a bit nearer so we can get a bit of sun here but for what you pay and what you get I'm trying to balance it up and see if it works so this is the heatable court which was 10,520. So what were they quoting me for? All right, let's skip that. Right, this is what they were quoting me for. This. Right, so roughly a day in June, the whole of June I'm generating 10 kilowatts. So there's a bit of a, is it worth it for my house really or for my garage? excuse me, 
there is a bit of is it worth it so they there is the estimated yearly uh, production uh, 2360 kilowatt hours there they were putting six rear power uh, RIEA power um, monocrastic um, panels which they really really think these are great six M phase um, micro inverters one alpha inverter and one alpha 10.1 kilowatt hour 9.6 kilowatt hour usable LFP batteries so I'm only looking for LFP batteries which I think they've got a long term and uh, you know very very good batteries so this is what I have from heatable so 10,520 then the next cut would be from this company here which is octopus octopus energy we were doing it online so this is what remember what i said about that panel there uh, from let me bring that picture back like like this so there is the shade that i'm talking about there on here as you can see they've put two vertical um, panels on the roof and three on the other side but there's a lot of air vents on this roof as well and a couple more at the back of the roof so they've put a bit more there so it's all in all they've got 11 panels on there and um, it's a 4.7 kilowatt system and they've got 11 uh, m phase micro inverters and also uh, two uh, m phase 5p um, batteries which are they have a 15 year warranty these batteries so they are mostly used in australia and a bit of america as well so it's a new company coming into the british market so again this is an interest to me and i know the problem i have with the octopus court is they have written off putting them on the on the garage they've written off putting them on here they absolutely told the the surveyor not to look at you know not to get involved in the in the garage and the assumptions of the garage and all that but on the garage here there's a cable that comes out on the back of the house there so it's i believe is a good good location then the next quotation that i did get was from soli this company they have been good to be fair and they've given me a lot of um, ideas and what to think of and they are happy to put them on the on the roof as well so the other quote there was you know the m phase micro inverters and an all-in-one all-in-one give energy battery which was 10,264 uh, give energy again with the 3.6 kilowatt hybrid inverter that was 10,172 foxes they wanted 9,776 with an all-in-one um, inverter there so this looks decent when I'm looking at that, that looks decent in terms of the amount of money and the fact that they can do it on the garage. You know, it, it makes me think that's a good idea. M phase, like for like, they are now, you know, matching what Octopus um, were going to give me and with a 15 year warranty on here and one monitoring up anyway if you are putting m phase you put everything m phase and you can see everything from an m phase up um so yeah 10153 and more costs from soli they they are absolutely adaptable there is a 9.5 kilowatt hour battery there and a 5.2 giving you 14.5 but this is a dc coupled again i'm thinking of going ac coupled you know because my idea at the end of this my idea is i i want to when i can generate we do get on the roof on here we do get a bit of shade from this neighbor's house because 
you know the sun is coming from this side but I, for the first two hours of the morning then from then on it releases and the whole day there is there is the sun on there there is no you know shading or anything like that what i'm trying to do is it's looking like the panels are not generating enough for me right and at the same time if they're not generating enough for me what i was hoping to do was to whatever i am generating during the day from these panels they are for my base load for the house during the day if there is anything extra it doesn't even go to the battery it goes you know to um, to the grid so anything extra that comes along it just goes to the grid i can run the house during the day in the summer you know from march until october a bit of november until october i think we'll go october so march to october running my base load from the solar and the battery in winter the battery is mostly for the winter where i want to run you know um, charge the battery using octopus uh, intelligent go and use that energy during the day from the battery and i've got a heat pump as well they do use a lot during winter so if i can join that and use the battery you know so i'm looking around 13.5 if i can all in one give energy it's looking most likely and the solar panels are only for you know the base load during the summer period there i'm hoping to get my money back more quicker payback which is not really in at the back of my mind i'm more to reduce my reliance on the grid you know and and use less of the energy and move forward really and try and save a bit of money if i can i'm also helping the grid when there is a bit of help during the, the winter when they need need a bit of energy i can switch to the battery and use the battery on on those times so that's where i am you know do join me on this journey as i make the decision i'm not too sure which decision i'll make you know it's one of those decisions that i need to make so do subscribe to the channel and thank you very much for those that have subscribed do come along with me on this journey you know as i change over from a heat pump we've got electric cars i will do some reviews for the electric cars when i can you know but i always post one video every week so do join me and do subscribe to the channel